Hello everyone, this is Nigel Hill from lifestylesdefined.com and today I am reviewing the Sony Duo Bio 11. Okay, this review will be different from most reviews because I am giving a review on a college student's perspective and also almost like a techie perspective. So let's get started. Alright, first let's do design. Here as you can see, the Sony Duo Bio 11 screen is 11.6 inches. Also, it goes by 1920 by 1080, so it's full HD specs on the computer itself. Um, the design, which I love, it's really, some people complain that it's too thick, but I think it's just right for how much it houses inside. Um, the review we're doing today is based on the i7 core variation with 256 um, hard drive. So, this thing is packing a lot of power. So. The first thing we're going to do in this design is the tablet form. As you can see, this is the tablet form. The computer turns on from the side and it comes up. And then you can use the computer as a tablet itself. And I find that really interesting. If you don't feel like using the keyboard, you can type on the virtual keyboard itself and everything will be good to go. Another thing that this computer has that's excellent is a keyboard. As you know, most computers nowadays, the Ultrabook competition, um, for example, the Surface RT and the Surface um, 8 Pro, the, key, the screen detaches from the keyboard. But what's different about the Sony Bio 11 from other um, computers also is that the keyboard flips on and off. So it's right under the screen itself. So you're not detaching anything and it still houses everything. So if you want to hide the keyboard, you just slide down. You want to use it, just slide up. A lot of people say that's hard, but it's honestly one of the easiest things you can do in the world. And as you can see, I'm holding the computer with one hand. I am not struggling at all. So the computer is extremely light. I would say it's around three pounds. My computer does have the extra sheet battery that Sony charges separately, but the computer does not feel heavy to me at all. Um, I would not advise you to do this. I'm just doing it for the review. But as you can see, I'm highly comfortable with the Sony Bio Duo 11s. Um, let's say how, how heavy it is. Um, if you take off the sheet battery, as you can see, it's easy to come off and come on. You lock and lock it. You hold this, and then it comes off. As you can see here, you gotta release both sides, not just one side. And voila, the sheet is gone, and you just have the Sony Vio by itself and when you don't use the sheet battery I would say it's an extra pound lighter so now it's even lighter um, so the design is just flawless continuing with the design of the Sony Bio Duo 11 as you can see here this is it being compared to the HCC 8x for thickness um, right now the sheet battery is on the HCC 8x so that's why it's a little um, on an angle than the HCC 8x I mean Sony Bio Duo 11s on an angle compared to HCC 8x but as you can see, that's it's a little thick, but I really usually don't really mind. It just goes into my laptop and the laptop um, bag, so it doesn't really bother me. As you can see here, the Sony Bio Duo 11 does have not one, but two, two um, USB ports. One is regular 2.0, the other is 3.0, so it's really good and great. Um, and also has an HDMI port. So you can do your um, movies off to your TV or stream. And you also have your power button, which I talked about earlier. On the back of the um, Sony Bio Duo 11, as you can see, is the regular Sony insignia based on almost all Sony products. And then you have your little charger port for your AC adapter, as you guys might remember for your Sony PSP. So, you know, that was a good thing. Um, and then this little thing right here is an Ethernet port. So if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can use your Ethernet cord and run it straight from the internet. So that's another great thing about the Sony Bio Duo 11. Another thing on the other side, the left side of the device, is a VGA port. VGA port by some people would consider extinct, but if you go to a college like mine, we haven't upgraded, so we still have VGA cables. VGA cables is important for some people. Also, you have your um, SD card slot, and it does do the HD Duo. Um, so if you need to add like another 100 gigs of space, you can use the SD card slot. And we also have a headphone jack for your headphones. On the bottom of the Sony Bio Duo 11, 
we do have the spot for the swap battery and then we do have our other buttons yeah your volume buttons and your auto rotate button the auto rotate button is um pretty cool because it stops your sony bio dual, dual 11 from trying to rotate if you change it back and forth and you do also have an assist button for any um assistance you need for the sony guide so it's a nice little shortcut and right here is the first speaker and to the other side is the second speaker for the Sony Duo Bio 11. Speakers aren't um, the best thing in the world, but they get you through the day. I'm a headphone user most of the time, so I really don't use the speakers. Um, so it's a pretty cool, slim design. As you can see right here, um, we do have a fan for the Sony Bio Duo 11. It's extremely silent. Um, it doesn't get noisy, so that's kind of cool. You're in class. Um, supposed to be paying attention and you're maxing it out, so it's not like room and the whole class gotta look at you like, yo, dude, what are you doing? Or aren't you supposed to be studying? Here's the um, the two megapixel camera for the back, and we do have a megapixel camera for the front. Um, good thing I have a screen protector because I am scratching the heck out of uh, my Sony, as you can see. Oh man, I messed this up so badly scratching it. Good thing we do have screen protectors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and right here is your second screen. Um, camera so it's pretty good pretty good okay so now let's talk about the OS and the specs of the computer itself the dual 11 we're reviewing houses a third generation Intel i7 core it also has 256 hard drive memory and 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM so as you already know this thing is packing a punch the computer itself is very responsive I have no complaints so far. I play Double May Cry 3, sorry, not Double May Cry 3, the new Double May Cry, the reboot on its PC, and it works flawlessly. Um, of course, like many PCs, you have to plug it in to the AC adapter for it to run as smoothly as possible, but I can say without it running on AC adapter, the game still runs smoothly. Um, so I would recommend if you love playing video games, this is something you want to pick up to play on the go. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, 256 hard drive is something standard. I do have already a portable hard drive, so the hard drive is not an issue for me. But if I correct, if I've seen in other forums, you can't update the hard drive to 500 and more gigabytes. So if your hard, hard drive is a question you're thinking about, don't worry about it. You can upgrade it. Um, for RAM, um, as what I've been told, this has 4 gigs of RAM soldered in, so the other 4 gigs are free, so you can pack up to 12 gigs of RAM up to here. Um, Critical said that I can do up to 16 gigs, but I'm not going to try that just yet, and if I do, we'll put it in the lifestylesdefined.com website, so you can be the first ones to know how that goes. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go over the OS of the Sony, Sony Do app. Okay, so let's go over the OS that the Sony Bio Duo 11 uses. So as you see by the power button that was shown earlier in the review, uh, this is how you turn it on, you slide it up how I did earlier, and this is my home screen, you know, of the OS. Um, I gotta say, this is my first time using Windows 8. Um, my previous laptop was Windows 7, but I did not upgrade it to Windows 8 because I was under the impression that Windows 8 should only be used for touchscreen laptops. And then I have now since taken that back, I think Windows 8 is a wonderful OS if you have a touchscreen computer or if you don't. I love it so much. I think it's a huge upgrade from Windows 7. Um, also, I use Macs on my campus and I must say I really favor Windows 8 over um, Max and Windows 7, but that's a separate whole review altogether. But um, we're going to show you just what the Sony Bio Duo 11 can do. So, um, as you know, you have your little passwords. Um, you can do the picture password, or you can do the regular password. But I want to look cool on this review, so let's do the picture password real quick. You guys know um, this is Sora from Kingdom Hearts, um, so you know I had to represent for my Kingdom Hearts fans. You know. Um, one thing I like is, and hate at the same time, is that picture passwords are sometimes extremely sensitive. Um, but you know, hey, you get it through, you get it done. Um, so right now, you know, Sony Bio Duo 11 has two buttons to go back to the, um, the home screen. Is this button right here. See, it pops it up, pops it back, or you can press the Windows key on the keyboard itself. Pops it up, pops it back. So that's a lot of things you can do for this. Um, so let's look at some of the things on the computer itself. So as you can see, 
is my home screen. You have my email, my desktop, some of the apps itself. Um, the touch screen is very flawless. I like it a lot. Um, but we're not here for that. We're gonna show you guys how fast this computer is and some of the capabilities that it does have. So let's get that started right now. Um, you can pull up any app. I'm not gonna open up my mail because you know there's personal information in there. But let's say um, Xbox Music. Pop that up, there you go, app's open. Um, but you know what, let's not do that because the app was already open. So let's just, um, let's close the app first. And then let's see how long it takes to pop up and pop back open, right? All right, so let's go back, go to music, pop. You know, you gotta do that. And then, you know, it takes a couple of seconds, it's loading and bang, there you go. That's my Xbox music. Um, as you know, Xbox Music is something that's pushed through almost all RT in Windows 8 Pros. Um, it's almost like Spotify, but double the music. Um, you can listen for free, or you can have a paid subscription for $9.95. Um, I actually like Windows. Um, Xbox Music is doing a great thing. Um, sign quality is just great. Um, play a song real quick. Oh, PC's online. <laughs> that's a fail for the review. Um, but, you know... Windows 8 is really good. It's really responsive. You see, I'm logging in right now through my um, through my Wi-Fi really quick, just to show how like responsive the pen is it's itself. So you know, just start right. I'm not gonna zoom in on this part because I don't want the world to see my password. Um, go in. See, there you go. Already logged in. Snap back. Microsoft Music. Don't have to load that page again. Play the song. It's signing in, so I have to wait a couple of minutes. But other than that, I think it's really good. You know, you don't have to, you just pull up, have it on the tablet mode, so you don't have to have it um, through the keyboard. It's great. Um, I think it's just, tablet is just lovely, really responsive. I seen on the buttons earlier, you can turn it up and down. So, you know, it's really good. Um, Sony did a great job. Um, remember, the speakers are on the bottom of the BioDuo 11 itself. So, you know, that could be a huge problem sometimes if you're on your lap and you really want to hear a song. But right now, we're going to stop playing this song um, and go back to this computer. Um, so, some people want to know, like, how are opening apps, like, uh, you know, um, how quick it is and responsive. Um, I'll show that right now. So, let's open up Photoshop on the OS. It's a 64-bit of Photoshop running. Start it up. It's loading. I gotta say, um, it's, it loads much quicker than it did on my i5 core, my previous computer, as you see. Um, you can use the, the stylus itself, or you can use your hands. I like using the stylus. You know, file, open. It won't open. Uh, let's get rid of this. I'm sorry, this is here, y'all. Um, file, new. Okay. Um, one thing about the Sony Bio that's a complaint with some people for Photoshop, it's that the Sony Bio Duo uses Intrig drivers for its touchscreen. And since it uses Intrig drivers, it's not officially supported by Adobe. So some people are complaining that, you know, they can't get their pressure sensitive for their drawings and their Photoshop. Um, and that could be a huge problem for people who do digital paintings and you need certain brush strokes for your um, paintings. So, you know, but uh, right now we're about to zoom in a little so you guys can see the responsiveness. So I'll just use a brush, um, get a certain color, and we just start brushing. See, responsive. And this is without me using um, my AC adapter on my computer. So as you can see, this stuff is pretty responsive. Sometimes it's a little lag, but the lag is not something that's really gonna stop you. So I say no complaints on the lag. As you can see this right now, sorry that my hand keeps getting in the way. Wait, just erase this real quick. See how responsive the erasiveness is. So it's like something that's really good. Um, so just to show you the lag one more time, let me just try to draw something Japanese on my left hand. This might be a little off, but hey, um, draw Watashi. A little off here, but it's all good, y'all. Little Watashi, you see, responsive, eh, no complaints. But hey, um, 
reason why I love this laptop is because I'm a huge person who makes flyers and I love digital painting. So I gotta say it's really responsive compared to my i5 core and that had six gigs of um, RAM on it. So it's very responsive. Um, so it's like great, opens up. No. Um, Sony Vegas Pro runs great on here. So I'm doing the videos earlier. As you can see, the computer is um, 1920 by 1080 as the resolution on the computer, as you can see with the apps in my um, background, it's really good. Um, uh, but I don't want to nitpick at the OS because that's its own separate review, but I can say everything is responsive as you see everything is popping up on my computer. Um, so if you want a Windows 8 review, you can look on the site for that as a separate review. But I'm just showing how responsive the core is on this computer. It's loaded Mozilla. Um, and there you go. Now you guys can see my fantasy basketball team. Try not to make fun of me, but hey, that's about it. Um, yeah, um, the pen is very, very responsive. Um, on regular browsing websites, I just like to use my fingers. See that? Like most computers don't let you do that. It's almost like using the, when you first got the iPad and you're going through the pages. So if you don't want to use the pen, you can use your hands, and it makes it load so much faster. Or you can just use the pen, as you see I'm doing here, and it's very responsive. Um, I do have some complaints about the pen at times. Um, it's not doing it for you guys, so I'm kind of confused. But sometimes if I move the pen to the screen, sometimes it won't come up and work. But right now it's very responsive, so I guess it's just showing off for the review. Um, other than that, it's really great. Um, go to tablet mode, nothing slows down. Still the same speed of everything. Load your sites. Um, computer is just like really excellent. Um, I love reading manga. You know, I might like pop up ESPN, but I said that because I was supposed to go to read manga, but <laughs> my hands are too big, but there we go. I love reading manga, so you know, manga looks gorgeous on this screen. It's not retina display, but it still looks really good. Um, sometimes my friends get mad at me because they're like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reading manga off of my tablet. And something else that's cool is, some people didn't know, but you can actually use the Sony Bio Duo 11 vertical. So let me like just zoom out a little for you guys. And you can read your whatever you want vertical. So you can see, reading my manga, vertical, off the website. This is all, all off of Wi-Fi on the internet right now. I see it's very quick, responsive. Zoom in, zoom out by pinching, pinching out. So it's really good. Um, it's not very pixely, so you can see. Like everything is just really good. I really do love this computer. Major upgrade for me, major upgrade. But now, um, I'm gonna show you some gameplay for Devil May Cry right now. So right now, we're gonna demo Devil May Cry. Um, the latest one that just came out on PC at the end of January. Um, so right now, I'm running a computer on AC adapter. So right now, we're gonna see how the game runs. Okay. Um, so here we go, game's loading. Pull it up. Um, one thing is I, um, you can use the like the touch screen like response because it's like almost like a mouse for the game. But um, personally, I don't do it. Um, I just run the PS3 controller off of it and then let the game do its magic. So now we're just gonna show you how the game looks, how it loads up. This is real time gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, please bear with me. Uh, I'm not a combo master at this game. I haven't played in a while. But I gotta say the game looks really, really good on a computer. Um, one thing I did on my i5 laptop, six gigs of RAM was um, I played a lot of Skyrim. The game ran flawlessly, no complaints. But I had like the super like ultra quality for the game, but hey, it still got me through. Yeah, as you can see, this is the load screen. You know, it was all like this real time. The game's loading up. Um, so here we go. So you see this is the game. And it's running pretty flawlessly as you can see. Oh, we getting messed up here. Oh sorry y'all. Oh damn, I forgot to play. This is the hardest level until you unlock the other ones. Okay. I'm not gonna do a game review and double me cry right now. I'm gonna just let this go. Alright, here we go. Get some magic going. I got something for this dude right here. Can't see that. All right, let's do this. Yeah, here we go. 
Um, right now, I think I'm playing on high, high quality for the game, but we can check that out right now. Um, I see no lag on the game whatsoever. Playing on a PS3 computer, AC adapter. Um, you can connect your computer to, you know, any TV through HDMI cord or VGA cable. I personally use HDMI. Um, and the game still looks great. Um, it looks a little choppy on the TV. I don't know why. I have to look at that. Right now you can see the gameplay. Uh, but let me press start and see the graphic settings. Yeah, so right now I'm playing 1920 by 8, 1080. Um, gamma, that's like how bright the screen is. Refresh rate, 40 hertz, full screen on. V-Sync is on. Graphic quality is high. Um, I haven't tried Ultra personally. Don't need to try it. This is my opinion. I like the game as it is. So as you can see, zoomed in on the quality of the game. Zoom out. Get back into it. Shows you how it runs. And you see, it looks like a PS3, Xbox 360 quality game. So, um, I don't know. They got a little, like, competition here. So, we're getting through. We're getting through here. We're getting through. Um, running through. Um, but now let's see how the game looks when you unplug the AC adapter. So, just unplug the AC adapter. Throw it to the side. So, we're running the game off a pure laptop right now. And you can see the change in like the lag. But the game is still running as it should be, but it's a little slower because it's on high. And we do not have the AC adapter. So yeah, this is wow. You can see the difference. So let's change it to um see if we can fix this. These settings. Let's see if we can fix it to um see what happens when we do medium at least. Let's apply these settings. Uh, okay, the screen goes black. Applying settings. Jeremy trying to use as much horsepower. Let's keep these settings. Yes. 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 Oh, now it doesn't want to work anymore. Alright, there we go. Settings. Okay. The game was saving. That's why I was doing that. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Let's see how it looks now. About the same thing. So, uh, you know, I said you can run some games without um, the AC adapter, but I guess games with this magnitude should not be ran without the AC adapter. Um, your emulators, yeah, they can be ran, but um, yeah, they, they run perfect without the power, but you know, they have a better performance. But that's it for the Double Me Guy Cry gameplay. I just wanted to show you guys the power of the computer. Let's pull up the Windows 8, go back to the desktop and end that. So power wise, i7 core, I'm loving it. Um, personally upgraded it because I needed something stronger for Photoshop. And as you can see, it's doing great. Some optional accessories for the Sony BioDu 11, as you can see here, is the sheet battery. It's gonna run you around $150 extra for another four to six hours of battery life. And right here, which is included with the Sony BioDu 11 is the stylus for the computer, very responsive, not bad at all. And then the battery does include a spot for you to put your stylus so you don't have to walk around with it in your pocket. Two great accessories, not mandatory to sheet battery, but it does get your job done if you really do need it. So battery life on the Sony Duo 11. So you get about four and four and a half hours pushing it if you set your battery settings to the right amount. Um, so that's without the extra sheet battery. So you're looking at about four hours battery life, like I said earlier. Um, that's around good to me, in my opinion. Um, my computer, last computer, HP MV14, did about three hours um, the most, two and a half most of the time. So I'm not even complaining about four and a half. But when I purchased this, um, first Sony, I have to give you a shout out, thank you, because they gave me a free battery sheet, which I didn't even ask for because it's $150 extra. They gave me a free battery sheet. And as you guys know, the battery sheet, you can put your stylus in it. That's one complaint about the Sony Duo is like, where am I supposed to put my stylus? Well, you have the battery sheet, and if you're lucky like me with Sony, you can put it in there. So thank you, Sony. Big shout out to you. Highly appreciate it. 
So if you add the battery sheet, you put in uh, about an extra pound onto your Sony Viodo 11. Um, doesn't really bother me. Um, and once you do that, that's about another four hours on your computer. So you're looking at about eight to 10 hours of extra battery life by putting on an extra pound to your um, computer. And you can charge it separately or you can charge it with the computer at the same time. It's up to you. I usually charge it with the computer at the same time. No complaints to me. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, and you could also put your stylus in there. And it also gives like your computer a huger angle to work with. So there's something else. Um, so the final verdict of the BioDuo 11. So most people will say, look at the high price tag of $15.99 for the i7 variation with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, I say it's completely worth it. You're, you can buy a MacBook Pro summer 2012 version for around the same price and it's not as powerful as this behemoth here. So I would personally say, get this computer if you can, if you have the money. If you can't, I would say the i5, i3 variation, depending on you, is also a great buy. It's a great tablet, Ultrabook, whatever you want to call it. I call it an Ultrabook, that's a convertible. Um, but I must say, um, when I give it out of a scale of 10, I hate doing 10s on a scale, but I would say I give it like a nine out of 10. I can't give it a perfect because sometimes this pen does not respond to my screen. It takes a minute, but for some reason during the review, it's been responding perfectly fine. So I don't know. I think it just wants that 10. Um, but other than that, I gotta say, I love this computer. Um, it's not replacing my old computer because I still need it for the 700 gigs this hard drive it has, but this is what will be my workspace computer for my Photoshop, video editing, um, video games. So I would say if you're a college student looking for a new computer, you have extra scholarship money. If you want to do the great investment of buying the Ultra, you know you're going to have for the next three to four years, this would be the way to go. I highly recommend it. Like I said earlier, you saw the video for Double May Cry, so how responsive is with Photoshop, even though it doesn't support the intrigue drivers, but the computer is highly worth it. So if you're willing to spend the high price tag, which is the con, the $15.99, I would say buy it. I'm actually seeing the pros, 1920 by 1080p, um, very responsive touchscreen, Windows 8 Pro, um, four and a half battery life, doesn't bother me, but eight hours with the extra sheet. Um, Pro comes with a free stylus. Um, I don't know if this comes for all um, Sony Viador 11s, but mine's came with a free screen protector, and I bought a $20 one for extra, so I'm kind of mad, but it's still a screen protector. So this mine's came with a free one, so that's another pro. Um, some of the cons, because it seems like I'm being completely biased in the review, I don't care because I'm just being real with the facts. But the con is, um, some people hate the VGA port because it takes up space, so that's like one of the design flaws. But you never know what you need a VGA port for. My computer has, my school has an updated with all HDMI cords, so VGA port comes in handy when I want to connect to a projector for schoolwork. Um, but another con is, if you don't buy the sheet battery, that's, you really gonna put your stylus. It does come with a pen cap, but you might leave it at home and you really wanna work with your stylus on your um, tablet. Um, the keyboard space, which I haven't really talked about, for some people is a con because it's too small, um, but you get used to it. You know, the biggest can't be choosers. Um, if you wanna keep this slim and thick, you have to sacrifice space on your keyboard. Another con is people say that the screen, as you can see, is only this much and it still has the black borders around it. Why not sacrifice some of the border space? I completely agree with that. They should sacrifice some of this border space and put more screen space um, for the computer. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I really love this computer. It's a great buy. i7 Intel Core, third generation, eight gigs of DDR3. You could upgrade to 12. They said 16, I mean, we have to try that and find out. Other than that, this is a great computer. So if you have the money to spend with the hefty price tag, I completely recommend it. If not, it's not a straight away buy. You can find other things cheaper with the i7 variation, but this is highly recommended if you have the money to spend. If you're serious about doing anything that needs a user RAM or i7 core. But it's Nigel Hill from lifestyles.com. Have a great day and goodbye.